Welcome to Amazing World Channel. A caller, known as Paul, said Britain's negotiators needed to take a much tougher stance with the EU and threatened to walk away without a Brexit deal. Speaking on his LBC show, Nigel Farage asked what the caller thought of the Prime Minister's speech in the House of Commons before Paul insisted she was not a business leader. He said in the politest terms, the Prime Minister is what she is, she is a politician, her whole career has been built around shuffling paper around. She's never run a business, she's not a deal maker. G E T T Y Bullet L B C A Caller urged the UK to take a tougher stance with the EU. I'm no Donald Trump, but I know one thing: when you are in the superior position, you can basically do whatever you want. And the first person who mentions numbers generally loses. We need a businessman to walk in there and say, "This is what we are going to do. You can either take it this way, or we are going to walk away." And see how long it takes Volkswagen and Audi to urge their governments to seek a deal. Close quote. Nigel Farage interjected, noting that the bosses of the big companies will go straight to their own government officials to demand a deal is agreed with the UK. They'll come running after us, Paul, won't they? He said. The caller agreed that UK needed to be tough in negotiations and take a firmer stance. He added, of course, they will look at any other high street. Every other car is a Mercedes or a BMW. If you want them over here, you can bring them. 20% import duty. How long is it going to take? It's simple. I know some guys in this country who would sell an Eskimo a hundred tons of snow, and they wouldn't even know what happened. That is what we need. Of course they will. Look at any other high street. Every other car is a Mercedes or a BMW. Caller. Paul Farage was left laughing at the caller's rant, in which he said Paul had given some solid advice. The LBC, the host added you're not the first caller tonight to make the point that these people have never been in business, they've never done a business deal, they don't understand how the real world works. I do agree, I have to say with a whole lot of that. Speaking in the House of Commons, the Prime Minister said the ball was in the EU's court in relation to Brexit talks. Wed, September 13, 2017 G argued that a creative solution for a new economic relationship was needed with the European Union. She said what we are seeking is not just the best possible deal for us, but also the best possible deal for our European friends too. I believe we can prove the doomsayers wrong. This is vitally important. I am determined to deliver what the British people voted for and get it right. It is my duty as a Prime Minister. It is our duty as government, and it is what we must do. Close quote. The Prime Minister also insisted the government would fight for what the British public voted for, the ability to regain control of their borders, their laws and their money. Mrs May reiterated plans for a transition period lasting around two years, during which time businesses will have time to adjust to time outside the bloc.